so I accidentally deleted a clip of me saying good morning and how I was watching a video of my friend Edna where she had on a bonnet and she said something about it being ratchet or something to that fact and I started cracking up to myself because I'm like lately I've been vlogging only when I'm home and I've either had my bonnet on or my bandana so y'all have been getting ratchet Michelle for a while now <laughs> but it's okay I'm in my house so it's okay and also I was telling you guys how my furniture was coming they were like 10 stops away this day and I was super excited but okay let's get to the video and hope I don't delete any more footage so this is the last time of seeing an empty <laughs> well not completely empty because I do have some furniture there but my couch will be here today and my other things so um, I did get a rug and I just need to move the rug out the way so they can put the other furniture here. So yeah, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm so tired of, I actually put the lawn chairs away and remember I told you guys Savannah brought her mattress out and so her mattress was laying here and so she was sleeping out here because she just liked being out here and whatever but we put that back this morning and I swept again and I mopped and so yeah, everything is ready. They just need to get here. But they're still showing 10 stops away. And it's been like 20 minutes or 30 minutes since I last vlogged. But that could be because they're at that first stop already. So, yeah. Okay, so I am on lunch. Sorry, it's kind of dark. Is that better? Okay. I'm on lunch and they are four stops away, you guys. So excited. Well, hello? It's actually a few days later. I know I look like this, but I'm actually going to the gym after work today. So I decided to get ready now. I'm on my first break. So as you can see, the couches are here. I'm so excited, you guys. It's so comfortable. And even though I'm not gonna give you guys like a full view of it, I'm not gonna hide it. So if I'm walking around and you guys see it, you guys will see it. We just won't discuss it because I wanna put it in a full video and then later on I'll show you guys like the just the different parts of the couch it is a reclining couch and this time it's a power reclining couch so it's so comfortable so yeah you guys I'm so excited and the reason why it takes me so long when I um, do a project is because before I actually start it I think about what I want and I usually want specific things and I try to do it budget friendly number one number two I don't want to be sitting in my living room or whatever room I'm redoing six or eight months later and I'm like I don't like this I mean if I did that's my prerogative I can change it but that's not wise financially you know I'm not rich I'm not a millionaire so I can't just keep changing up things every year so it took me a little over a year to get this far because I had to find the right couch, the right color, the right, just the right everything. And yeah. And like I said, I also had to do it like on a budget. And so, yeah, you guys will all see that in the final reveal video coming up soon. And when I say soon, it's probably not going to be until November because... I still have about nine things that I have ordered that most of them won't be here till October. One should be here next week. I keep checking the tracking and it's saying shipped that the carrier picked it up, but no other information. And the last time that happened to me, the item actually got lost. So I'm a little concerned about that. Some of the things that I ordered, like I said, won't be here till mid-October. And then I could finally put it together, film the video, and show you guys everything but like I said if you guys catch a glimpse of it when I'm walking or whatever then you have seen it and I'm sure you've already seen the walls that they're no longer brown the walls are painted and if you guys remember from previous videos maybe the one before this you guys have seen a wall I don't know maybe in this one I don't know but yeah for the last like three two or three years I've been decorating my house for fall and I'm not going to do that this year because on my TV console and my coffee table, I have things that I bought 
that I'm going to use to decorate the house with. And so, I don't know, I just don't want to move it out the way, decorate, and then, I don't know, I just, it's going to be too much. So, I probably won't decorate for fall this year, which is okay. And then, I, it better be done by Christmas, okay? I waited forever for the couches, well, to find something that I liked. And then, it took, like, maybe two months because certain things were on back order. And then when I finally got it, as you guys know, my shipment came in three weeks later than what they told me. It was some other lady's shipment. Anyway, I know I'm rambling, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I got the couch and loving how the living room is turning out. Even though my other living room, my other living room, my other style that I had, even though that was warm and cozy, this one, I don't know, probably because it's different, it's just more homey to me. And I like it. Probably because it's different, like I said, I don't know. I don't have that much longer for my break. So, yeah, that's it for now. If I think of anything else, I'll come back or maybe I'll come back on my lunch break, okay. You guys, my plant is thriving. I wish it would get more fuller. If you know anything about plants and how I can do that, let me know. I've already repotted it. I've heard that you're only supposed to do that once a year once again correct me am i right or wrong y'all know me i kill everything so i'm just gonna trim a few things off before i put it away but yeah heather is thriving y'all and yes i named my plant heather okay so like i was saying yes it's thriving it's surviving this is the one and only plant you guys i've been able to keep alive because if you guys know, the ones who have been here a long time, I have killed succulents and cactuses. Who does that? Me, this girl, me, I do. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I would think by now it would be fuller. So I don't know. I water this plant once a week, but sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I do forget and it'll be like two or three weeks and I probably just answer my own question right there. But anyway, it's life. So I am happy about that. And I actually may get a peace lily. I've heard those are really hard to kill. But once again, you know me. If you can kill a succulent, then um, I think there's pretty much no hope for me. <laughs> if you are plant people and have green thumbs, please tell me what I can do to make this fuller. Or... Is there anything I'm doing wrong? Or I may be doing things right. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. afternoon. It is Saturday. And it's actually almost 3 o'clock. And I'm just lounging in the house right now. But I don't have my bandana on, you guys. Aren't you proud of me? I actually had it on earlier because I got some more paint yesterday. And not to paint the living room because the walls are done. There was a few areas that I needed to touch up that I seen like the, what do you call that? The primer still um coming through and it just wasn't as even and it wasn't that much so yeah i did that and then that's when i had my bandana on yeah did i say it was just me that's home right now yeah and remember i think i remember i showed you guys that i got curtains from ikea and i put them up today so when i put them up or before i put them up i measured so i knew exactly the length of curtains i was looking for and i got them and they were going to be like barely touching the ground from my calculations, right? Okay, so then when I got the curtains last night, well, I didn't get them last night, but last night I took them out. First of all, when I opened the bag, it stunk really bad. I don't know if it was because of the chemicals that were on there or I don't know, but... I bought curtains before from Ikea, the ones I took down with from Ikea and the ones previous, and it didn't smell like that. So it just had a really weird smell. And so I actually put them on the curtain rod and it was dragging the floor about maybe six inches, five, five inches maybe. And I'm like, what in the world? I knew for a fact that I measured correctly and whatever so i'm like okay no big deal um i'm not a seamstress but i do know how to sew and hem stuff up so i measured it where it can be just barely barely touching the floor and i know i did it perfect to all four panels right 
So I did that um, and I did it by hand. I didn't do it with my sewing machine. Plus I was thinking, well, maybe if I didn't measure it correctly, it'll be an easier fix. You know, if I do it on hand and I did a loose stitch. So after I got to the fourth panel, my hands smelt really weird and I started getting a headache from these curtains because they just smelt bad. And then Cheyenne was in a room and she came out and she was just like in the hallway. She said, what's that smell? I'm like, yeah, it's the curtains. They stink. You smell them over there. They smelt that bad. So after I hemmed them up, y'all, I put them in the wash and put them in a the dryer. And after they dried, I took them out immediately because you guys know I don't have an iron. And when I did, I didn't iron even then. I barely ironed. So once the iron broke, I just never bought another one because we don't iron, y'all. We throw everything in a dryer. I hate ironing. And so I took it right out so it wouldn't be as wrinkle. And they smelled good. The smell was gone. So today when I hung up the curtains, I'm thinking it's going to be perfect and, you know, whatever. Y'all, it was too short. So apparently it shrunk in the dryer or the wash, whatever. I don't know. But I know for a fact that I measured correctly because I had the panels actually on the curtain rod. And so when I did the measurement and hemmed it, I hemmed it actually on the curtain rod. So it had to have been the dryer. So I got it on there and I'm like, are you kidding me? But I'm like, whatever, at least I did a loose stitch. So I was able to take it out and then it was regular. So yeah, that was my dilemma today. Some of my packages, it's supposed to be delivered today things that were not going to be shipped to me until October they're coming today I'm so excited the weather is cooling down finally we had some oh my goodness hot weather maybe like three weeks ago or two weeks ago even and well into the hundreds over a hundred 115 one day it was insane so I am ready for the cooler weather but anyway I love the curtains and how they are and once again just like with the couch and the walls um, I'm not going to pinpoint it now I'm not going to show it but I'm not going to hide it so there you go but anyway still loving the couch it's comfortable and it is reclining did I say that I don't know so all right Good morning. It is Monday and <clears throat> I'm still watching the uh, funeral service of the Queen and I guess it's almost over. I am going to be going to the gym after work today so I decided to get ready that way I can keep my I don't know my momentum. Oops sorry. <laughs> I decided to get dressed early um, for the gym now that way I can keep my I don't know want to drive the desire to go because I'm not going to put these clothes on for nothing. It's really weird to me how together they are as far as their emotions. I would be bawling and crying and snotting all over the place y'all. When I seen, what's his name, Charles? Prince Charles? Well now King Charles. When I see the look of anguish on his face, you know, when they would show him and I'm like, how in the world is he keeping it together? I know they're taught to not really show their emotions, but goodness, how, a parent, I mean, I've lost a parent. I lost my dad when I was 15, was I 15? No, I was 19, that was hard. So watching him and seeing the look on his face, I felt bad for him, even though I'm not a fan of him, but you know, losing a parent's not easy. Anyway, that I say I'm on lunch, I don't know. I'm just gonna finish watching this and just wanted to check in with you guys. Are you guys watching? Oh, well, you can't tell me if you're actually watching because who knows when this video is gonna go up. Y'all know me. Anyway, did you guys watch Queen Elizabeth's funeral? Let me know in the comments below. And just three weeks ago, we had 115 degree heat. Yeah, now it's pouring. Today is Thursday and I'm actually on break. I don't know why I'm still sitting here, but um, I'm on break and 
I'm just waiting for my last package to get here. It's out for delivery, so sorry y'all. Anytime I hear something that sounds like a truck, I'm peeking like, oh, it's it here? That way I can finally film the reveal for you guys. But I want this video to go up before the reveal. So anyway, I know this video is probably just a bunch of here and there, but that's just been my life lately. Yeah, I know I always say I'm gonna get back on track and then I don't. So I won't say it, I'm just gonna eventually do it. And when I do it, you guys are gonna be surprised. Nothing much is going on today. I'm dressed like this because I'm going to the gym when I get off work. Um, it helps when I'm dressed for it. That way it's like no excuses. Got your clothes on, first step, second step, get in the car. Third step is getting there and getting out the car and going in, so. Is that UPS? No. Good morning. It is 7.15 on a Saturday. And yes, I'm up, but that's because Savannah and I have eye doctor appointments. So yeah, we're gonna go do that. I made it so early because she has to go to work this afternoon, so we wanted to get it out the way. That way she can come home and go back to sleep if she needs to and relax before she has to go into work. So yeah, I'm so sleepy. You guys went to bed late. But um, yeah, our appointment isn't until eight. So just wait it on some. Y'all, I had to break down and do it. So I don't know if you guys remember last time that my doctor told me that I should get the bifocals because I need readers because I can't see up close anymore because I'm getting old. Y'all, I am 50 and it started when I was 40 you know and I'm like nope I'm not ready for it but I got tired of switching out from my readers to my regular glasses cut my regular glasses I can't see a close I broke down and I had to get bifocals but I guess it's the transitional kind where you can't see the line it's funny because it took me so long to come to this point because my mind hasn't caught up with my body my body is like hey you're 50 years old and your eyesight is not what it used to be but in my mind I'm still 25 so <laughs> yeah you guys anyway um I need to get my hair done I have not had my hair done for a while you guys I've been trying to save for my roof and even though yes I'm redoing my living room it's not gonna cost as much as a roof so I don't know Saturday, happy Saturday. Um, I actually just got back from the gym. Well, not just got back. I've been home maybe about an hour. I hopped in the shower and now I'm just relaxing. So, yeah, you guys. The kids actually went to a church function for young adults. And that's what they're doing now. And I'm just sitting here. I'm actually watching... Um, I've started watching Game of Thrones again. I know the series ended, but you don't know how many times I started watching 
season one and I actually made it all the way through season one and then I don't know I just stopped not that it wasn't good because trust me it's good but I don't know for something like this you have to be in the mood to watch it not only in the mood but you can't be on your phone or whatever because you will miss things so yeah um I'm on the second season now yeah oh you guys I finally filmed the final reveal of my living room so that will be up probably after this video so yeah you guys nothing much is going on nothing at all absolutely nothing uh, I love this you guys this helps with like allergies and I've had a lingering cough from COVID for a while so this helps with that also um, I know the fan is blowing it's like defeating the purpose but because I sit here I still get everything and I find out my breathing is better when I use it but anyway I wash it out every now and then ignore the hats they're gifts I just have to put cups there to flatten it out because the brim was kind of creased anyway we're not talking about that <laughs> um what was I saying so I cleaned it out because sometimes if I don't use it the water's just sitting in here and you know water can grow like algae or mold or whatever so you definitely don't want to be breathing that in so I suggest if you guys have one of these clean it out at least once a week that way you know that nothing is growing in there and yeah so that's what I just did y'all see a very boring Saturday okay I didn't have the little I was gonna say volume I didn't have the knob turned all the way up but now more of the steam or mist is coming out so yeah okay now I'm gonna do the dishes not very much Savannah's about to make sugar cookies and then we're going to watch Hocus Pocus. So this is our creation, Yay. mainly Savannah's. I did this one mm -hmm. and I did this one. I like one. that one. Um, what's your favorite one? What's my favorite one? 
the original one. Well, yeah, after, honestly, I don't know. After that, we went downhill. I kind of like that one too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she said this one looks like Ghostface. It, or maybe no, or make, that one. I was trying to make that one ghost face, but yeah. that one looks more like, or maybe this one. I don't know. And I don't know what's going on over here. Just, we're just not gonna talk about that. <laughs> Chad, you wanna try it with us? Mm -hmm. 